Well, guys, a lot has happened the last two weeks here. We have been busting butt, getting things set up the way we actually want them. And the sun is just in my eyes. Oh, hey, there you are. And um, so I'm going to show you a quick tour before I plant some more of what we've done, where we move things, and what we're looking at here. Alrighty. Donald made a seed starter table where we can put the little pots and it's got um, a little railing all the way around so the wind can't blow them over if the dogs. Koopa, what are you doing? Knock them over. As you know, this is our pineapple row. I planted some daisies in here to grow. We're gonna be taking this panel and these stakes out and we are going to move them over to this location here. That way we can do another tomato row. Now over here, I got flowers planted here, flowers here and here. We got our yard long beans in the back. I'm gonna be planting egg plant in the front here. This is gonna be our tomato row again. Here's the fun stuff. We, uh, like I said, the tree that we started to cut down, Donald went ahead and made a raised bed out of it. And we put a few screws around the corners to hold everything working great. Here is my butterfly pea stand. And next to it, we finally put the reusable futon bed. And we put three tires. We're gonna be growing cucumbers here and cucumbers in the back. We got to put some fabric down let, uh, for the kill the weeds and uh, get those straightened up. But the tires in the back will also be for cucumbers. We moved the herb garden thing. And what we're doing is instead of having that huge pile of twigs and sticks, we've been cutting them up, putting them in the bottom of the containers like this here that haven't uh, quite been filled and we're going to do like a huber uh huber culture huber i cannot say it the huber oh you all know what i'm talking about where you uh, make a pile out of wood and then you put dirt on top of it the wood will start to rot which gives the, the nutrition to the soil and then you plant on top of that. So that way the plant will continuously get nutrition for a while. So that's what we're in the process of doing here. Donald came up with this cool idea. Since he's got a lot of peppers this year, we made a pepper patch. And we're doing the same thing. We got twigs all on the bottom. And then we'll fill them with dirt. Um, another herb bed that we're going to have, same thing. This was where we had the strawberries. Now, because we had to dig the dirt out of these, we put it into this. This side was already filled, but that side's not. And we put sticks down just to help with that. And then we got the mailbox still. That hasn't moved. And we're going to be planting the jumbo peanuts in that one. So, all in all... It leaves us this row here that we could fill up and we could also add something here as well. Um, anything that's going to be kind of sensitive because the house uh, puts out a lot of shade uh, right about noon, one o'clock and it starts pushing it. So that means anything in this row here needs will have uh, some protection from the afternoon sun come this summer but all in all we're doing good we planted flowers and beans in these two tires over there that's trash we got to take out and then there's two more tires over here um right in there we also have beans and flowers in and we have a sprinkler system set up.
as you can tell. Um, one on this pole, one on that pole down there. It covers the entire area short of those tires along the fence. So later on here, um, we're going to put another T-post over here somewhere. Put another sprinkler, connect that to everything. And in that way, we have a sprinkler system and we're not hand watering out here. Um, we did check the sprinkler system for the rest of the property. We got a lot of issues. Um, some lines looked like they busted and it could have been from the frost. But we'll see. All right, almost done planting. So this year, I got everything lined up. We got the Japanese truffle black. We're going to do the Florida date. These are leftover space seeds. The Amish paste. Hungarian heart. And then both of these tires here are going to be the Roma tomatoes. And then on the back side, we got some new ones. We have Boxcar Willy. We have the Trophy. The Hillbilly. Ace 55. Rose. Another Amish paste. And then the last two are going to be the other half of the space seeds on these two. So that is our tomato row this year. And hopefully we won't have any storms that will damage them. That's what happened last year. We didn't get a really great harvest because we had a couple tropical storms come by and it damaged the plants. So hopefully this year will be a little bit better. Now, right now, um, we got a lot going on with our uh, family. Um, we, uh, my daughter has to have uh, another tooth pulled. So that's coming up in a few days. So we're just trying to get things going. There's some other issues going on within the family. I'm not at liberty to say just yet, but, um, it's good to uh, kind of slow us down. So we're going to be doing that 1% where every day we try and do something at least, even if it's just the smallest little thing, like just filling up uh, dirt in pots so we can seed. That's what we're going to be doing for this week here is I'm going to be doing that extra 1%. Um, right now I got a bunch of red solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got to use what you got to use. I've had them for years. They were in my hurricane supply box. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know what? We have to save a little bit of money. So I brought out all those red solo cups. And I'll save about five of them just in case. But uh, we are going to go ahead and put holes. I'm going to go ahead and take the time put holes on the bottom of them and be able to use those also as pots so we got a lot going on and wait till you see what we got going on in the inside <laughs> and so we have all this going on in the house these are duck eggs and cold duck eggs and then over here these are going to be the breast chicken, the naked necks, and turkeys. And then this is the hatch out uh, incubator. So it's all set and ready to go. We just got to plug it in when we get close. But yep. Hi, Marshmallow. What are you doing? <laughs> but yep. Hatch it on the inside too. Mm -hmm. 